Hey, this is John Donville from Panther State Lacrosse talking about some fundamental skills uh, to lacrosse and if you're a teacher or a coach, maybe some things to focus on uh, with your students. So let's talk about cradling here. So there's essentially kind of two ways of cradling. The first, cradling in a kind of a low posture or by your hip. And the real term here that I like to focus on is rock the baby. So you want to keep the stick in the fingers of the top hand. Everything's being controlled by the top hand here. You keep the stick nice and loose in the fingers and just rock the baby, pull it up almost like a bicep curl towards, uh, you know, towards your shoulder, rock the baby real still. Something to look for as a teacher, if you start controlling with the bottom hand, the stick kind of tends to get upside down, you tend to get yourself in a bad spot. So bottom hand's just the guide, rock the baby. Second posture is on the shoulder. This is where we want to be for the most part as lacrosse players. Some people refer to this as triple threat because you can shoot, you can pass, and you can start to dodge. Key here again, it's all top hand. All top hand, when you get into bottom hand cradling, it gets kind of wonky, you start to lose the ball. So that's something to look for as a coach and teacher as well. It's all top hand, and you just want it right on the shoulder here. It allows you to look, uh, look through the defense, make a lot of good plays, creates good fundamentals with your passing as well. And then ultimately, as you start to build the skills, it becomes a really fundamental key of lacrosse, keeping the stick on your shoulder at all times and looking around it again. Always the top hand, and we always want to go outside to inside like that. So we never want to turn the stick kind of like that over top. It's always outside to inside and just kind of pulling it over at the last second. Always with the top hand, you should be able to do it as a more advanced player with one hand. And that's cradling.